Amar and Kundin are brothers. Now in their 40s, they have lived together almost their entire lives in the hills of Hamachal Pradesh. They share just about everything, their work, their home, and a wife. Tell me about your wedding day. We have a simple wedding, Kundin says. There is a bride and a groom, and the younger brother is simply attached to the elder brother. And this is their wife, Indira Devi. The trio have worked side by side as husbands and wife for more than 25 years. It's been going on for ages. My sister-in-law has two husbands. My mother-in-law also has two husbands, she says. It's called fraternal polyandry, where the brothers of one family are all married to the same woman. It's not common in most of India, but still flourishes in remote parts of the Himalayas. There are about 200 families in this steep hillside village that function pretty much the same, although some wives have three or four husbands, depending on how many brothers there are. Typically, the marriages are arranged. What about love? Do you love both of these husbands equally, or was this just for tradition? I like both of them. I look at them the same. When I am troubled, I tell them to marry someone else. <laughs> but they won't. What they do want is children with their shared wife. This is a bit embarrassing, but how do you deal with sex at night? That we have to work out. We make shifts, change shifts, and sleep on alternate days or else it won't work. Is it difficult to have to share a wife between the two of you? you have to, think about to run the families, we have to do this, overcome the hurdles, and we have to control our hearts from feeling too much also. But feelings grow, and so did their family. They have three adult children now, who all live and work together in the same house. Do you know which child belongs to which biological father? We tell the kids that both fathers are the same. The family doesn't know and doesn't care. The daily grind takes all their time and energy.